buying time. Let those rats escape. Buying time? There's no need for that. You're about to die here anyway. You know that. <laughs> I've heard about enough of you. I'll end this now. No, stop here! You stubborn fool! Finish you. Just like I did your earthly friend! What do you mean? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare talk about Krillin! Already. That's a shame. I really want to save the best for last. when the contestants are evenly matched. Yeah, I think so too. All right. I better start fighting with everything I've got. If we lose, this whole universe is going to be torn to bits. History is changing? The flow of time. Something's very odd about it. At this rate, history. No. Everything will collapse.
Give me a strong ally. Someone with the kind of power to help me defend time itself. This wish I ask of you, Shenron. Your wish is granted. Someone summoned you from a land far away. Brave warrior, now come forth. Welcome to Let's Play Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Xenoverse. Xenoverse, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna have a fake argument over that one. I'm good. <laughs> You'll have seen the stream this for a little while, but it's mostly been us pooing around and me getting power leveled because you spend more time on this than I do. I am a super Namekian and I make everyone do 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 super. But this time we're playing through it proper, showing off the story as well as the parallel quests going through. And as you may have noticed, I am indeed joined by Elemental Ogre. Howdy. We're going to be playing, for the most part, as my, my own character, but you will see his character from time to time. Um, the parallel quests will all be done from my point of view, though you will see Ogre and occasionally Lenny, if you recall him from the stream as well, um, joining in, and then we're actually going to be trading off in the main story. So you'll see one mission with my character and one mission with his. So to start out with, you can actually choose three different races to begin with. Freeza's, Frieza race. Five races. Five, yes. What did I say? You said three. Okay, whatever. Um, the Frieza race, though, which they don't give a proper name to. I like that Cell, Cell at one point called them the Frost Demons, though that's yeah. not really official. Not not official, but... I like it, though. I'm waiting for Toriyama to come out with one. He's just yeah. holding back on it. I'm waiting for it to be something stupid where it's <laughs> like, oh, what's a good one? Um, the Refrigerator Demons. Oh, I was thinking of something along the lines of Thermos, or Thermians. Mm. Just to be sure, just I like the idea that Frieza and his family are like the uh, they're technically mutants in the series, that they're the oddballs out. That yet, s strangely enough, Frieza's race actually all the other clansmen have hot names, <laughs> and their actual race is like a hot name or something mm. like that. So, like the Ovi Ov Ovians, <laughs> the Microwavians. Okay, one thing that I absolutely love about this game. I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, and really, if you're not a big Dragon Ball fan, there's something weird if going on. If you haven't watched our streams, or if you don't know us personally, dra we were watching Dragon Ball when it first came we out. We were raised on Dragon yeah, Ball. Yeah, literally. I think we were in middle school, like the middle of middle school, watching Dragon Ball Z as it was airing over here, and we loved the shit out of it. And we were the ones that would argue over power levels, too. So and not just Team Four Star, we would as well. And I remember seeing Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z specifically. Um, we didn't get Dragon initially. Ball until later. I bought the VHS tapes of it. <laughs> I've got like the first half of it somewhere. But I remember watching Dragon Ball Z initially and just being so enthralled by it. And over time, I saw other animes and went like, "Do we want to do this while we're making your character?" Or no, no. I just want to say this real quick. Oh, I'm not okay. going to go on forever. But I remember seeing other animes and being a lot more enthralled by them and realizing that in the grand scheme of things, maybe Dragon Ball Z isn't that great. It's not as good as I thought it was. But then, I don't know, it was this game coming out. And shortly after the Battle of the Gods movie, which I caught like the tail end of. But this game coming out and playing through a bit of this game, and at first me not being that enthusiastic about it, but... Something about this re-sparked something in me. And I think what it is, is I realized how absolutely dorky Dragon Ball Z really is, and that's why I love it. There is it's, dorkiness in It's it. unabashedly dorky, and it's great for it. Alright. So okay, so that's Freeze Race. 
the Namekians, which of course we've seen predominantly Piccolo, but as well as the Namekians on, on Namek, well, but Piccolo's Namek. the main focus, which will be what my character is, but yeah. we'll see him later on. Oh, and you see each race actually has different things, like the Frieza race has a very has a very fast speed, but low attack, can paralyze enemies with Key Blast, that sounds cool, and has a speed bonus when his HP is low. Uh, Namekians, low attack, but have high health, and stamina refills quickly. Everybody's stamina refills on Nort naturally, but Namekians refills faster, which makes sense. You also because notice that Namekians and Frieza race are the only ones with one gender. That's because Namekians are technically asexual, but they're predominantly masculine looking, and the Frieza race is, again, we have like no yeah, very fucking confusing. clue on shit on. Because apparently Frieza at one point mentioned his mother. Mentioned so his like mother, there's but the that idea a, that maybe there is, yeah, but then it was, was also a, maybe just a turn of phrase and that not was necessarily like a dub thing. Yeah, something like that. It's weird. Yeah, We're waiting for Toriyama to explain it. Yeah, at the end of the day, nobody knows. Um, Earthlings, try and guess. They're they're, they're the Mario's, the Jack of all yeah. trades kind of thing. Uh, balance for everything. Kira falls automatically and attack rises when maxed. All right. Saiyans, which, which of will course, be Lenny's. Yeah. A warrior tribe that has low health but high attack power, so a little more of a glass cannony. Attack power rises when health is low, and all stats rise after reviving. Reviving only works in... Parallel quests. And online. Yeah. Because otherwise you die and you're just kind also, of Also, unfortunately, for various reasons, they are the only ones that have access to a transformation. Yes. No, none of the other classes do, and... It's weird with the, the sad Frieza clansmen, but we'll get into yeah. that later. And it's... We'll get to that when we get to Frieza stuff. It's a little frustrating, too, because their transformation sort of makes them a little broken. Yeah. But, again, we'll get to that. And then, finally, the Majins. Which, which if you've paid attention to anything with Dragon Ball Online, which is what Dimps' uh, other project was... The Majins, Majin Buu found some way to reproduce, and now there are a lot of Majins. Yeah, um, what it was, he actually, I did a fair amount of research I into this. I saw that too, I just, ugh. No, I did a fair amount of research into Mr. this. Mr. Satan, why? But, um, what it was, um, thanks to Mr. Satan. Yes. Um, Would you Mr. prefer to call him Mr. Satan or Hercule? I don't know, I'll go back and forth. They'll probably go back and forth. But, thanks to him, um, Mr. Boo, at the time Majin Boo, Mr. Boo, whatever. Yeah. Um, he actually grew to long a romantic partner. And, of course, there's no other Boos, so that crap isn't gonna happen. So he actually split part of him off, as he did in the actual series, when he split, like, his good dark, and evil, good yeah. and evil part off. He did that again and split off a female counterpart, which then became Mrs. Boo to his Mr. Boo. They later then had a kid, though they had a kid by just taking chunks of themselves and mashing it together and then shooting it with a beam. The love, love beam. Yes. And that's le legit it. They looked at it and went, and then it was alive. Yeah, don't believe us? Look it up. It's honest to God the truth. It's the reason you get female Majins. And that's how Majins reproduce. Yeah. They take chunks of themselves, make it into a giant dumpling, and then shoot it with a beam. They do say, though, that um, over time, the near-godlike power of Majin Buu has decreased mm -hmm. as the generations went on, to the point that any Majins that you see as a kind of race have a human-like mm -hmm. power level. Or Saiyan, or whatever. But anyway... A normal person, not a god. Majins will be what Naka is playing as. And you can play as the big Majin and the female Majin. There's a lot of concern about, like, Oh, you can play as the fat Majin, but you can't play as, like, a thinner Majin, like... Which is weird, because they have Kid Buu right yeah, there. Yeah, like Kid Buu or Super Buu. And I com... Lore-wise, it makes sense. Because there is from... no reason you should be able to play as a Kid Buu or a Super Buu style character. Because they come character. from Mr. Buu. Yeah. yeah. And Kid Buu and Super Buu were a distinctly different being from Majin Buu. Lore-wise, it makes sense. Gameplay-wise, what if we don't want to play a fat boo? Yeah. Um, as, as everybody knows, I'm going to be playing as a female because it's what I do. And you even get to customize their appearance, which is cool. You can change their height and body type. Um, I forget what changes what. Um, which, by the way, I love the 
they actually have Goku here to help with the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, so you know about how tall he's your about character like, is. What, he's 5'11"? I don't remember. He's almost like 6 foot tall, so... But height and body type do actually affect your stats. Um, I think body type, the thinner you make the character, the better they are at key, mm. and the wider they are, the better they are at physical. I think. Mm. And then I think height has to do with, like... Or maybe it's, like, speed. I think thinner is faster. Yeah. And then, like, the bigger one is, like, more durable, like, has more HP or something. And then I think height affects, I think, HP. I don't know. They affect stats. I'm going not with the shortest one, because the shortest one is a little too short for my taste. I'm going with the next two shortest and the thinnest I can make her. Even get to customize their hair. Get a fair number of interesting... Yeah. Styles. It's strange how complex yet simple the system is, really. Yeah. Even get some that is just like, oh, it's this. It's this without that. Yeah, that without that. Mm -hmm. Okay, from for the people who know the stream, I'm effectively going to be remaking my character, so I'm going with that one. That's actually not a bad style. Yeah, I like that one. Um, Eye-wise, of course, we have the... Very angry, slightly less angry. Little in, little in the middle, super happy. And, th and then you just get the silly ones. Duh. Oh! I'm going to be going with a, not angry, but a little more... Nettled? Yes. <laughs> but you're not super nettled. Yeah. And then the actual pupils, which of course, some Majins have the, or at least some Majins have the black back, but you can give them the eye without the black. And then there's the, with the little highlight thing. So I'll go with the highlight without the black. These are a little more, they're all like chunky, except for one and three, like slightly more chunk, less chunk, more chunk, more chunk, more chunk, more chunk. So one or three for me. I think the main difference between one and three that I could tell, because it's really hard to tell, is one has slightly more predominant lips than the other. I think I'll go with one. And then the ears on the Majins are interesting because really it's just... Do you want them out, middle, or in? Okay, now the hole's a little bigger. Do you want it out, middle, or in? How about nothing? Okay, now it's angled. Oh, it's angled. I'm gonna go with angled. Now you can change the colors. Even colors, skin tones, I want to blind my opponent. <laughs> oh, it's like walking in on Frieza in the shower. Especially, this game has some bloom to it. Oh, I, it does. I literally glow. It's great. Um, eye color, probably going to go with a more purple, as I am want to do. You are an albino, basically. Yeah, albino would be more red. No, I think albinos actually have purple eyes. It's I've like a always mix. heard red. I've heard purple as well. Um, you can change the color of your outfit, but I don't think it matters too horribly much. You can change it in game as well. So. Yeah, you can change it at any time, so it's not actually that important here. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh. I'm going to make it darker. Yeah. I'm going to take the purples and just make them darker. I'll make them darker. Nope, not that one. I'll probably just go with that and call it a day. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Again, you can change it, so... Yeah. Um, name! Gotta stick with the classics. Yep. Voice-wise, you can hear the voice playback with Y. I'm going to turn the volume up so I can hear this. That is a little bit young for me. Better, but I don't know what the crap is up with that. Nope. 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 Why is the background music so loud? I can't hear their voice. Seven's not bad, other than, like, the weird... I don't know, seven's alright. 
Dairy Squad. <laughs> but that's only on the male options. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to listen here. <laughs> I'm gonna go with eight. Can't wait all day. Advanced geometry. Oh, um, of note, you can make duplicate character names, as I discovered. Yeah. If you want to, I could make a second character and also name that character Isami. You can make as many Isamis as you want. No worry about it. But only you will be the real Isami. What fighting style do I prefer? Now, when I started playing this initially, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I wanted a more balance. But I've since discovered. I want to be a glass cannon black mage. Oh, okay. So, I'll, ha I'll hang back and blast them from afar. Disconnected from server. Shit. Yeah, god dang it. <laughs> I've got to start this video all over again. You're surprised, I'm sure. I'll have to explain it all to you later. For now, let's see how much power you have. I just got here, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know what's going on! There's a dragon and now a guy's trying to stab me! Thankfully, I'm at least a competent fighter so far. Well, you managed to dodge. You've got one over Gohan. <laughs> So, uh, this is effectively the tutorial. They teach you how to fight. Um, I'm playing with keyboard. That's what I'm used to. Technically, I think a controller, an Xbox I controller can, yeah. specifically, is the best control scheme for this. But I'm just so used to keyboard at this point that it would take too much effort for me to learn something else. Which is what I'll be using. So, if you see the buttons different, that's why. Yeah. So, WSD to move. You can move the camera angle. Jump to raw, or space to jump. X to descend. Um, you can use shift while moving to use boost dash, which is while you're flying around going 100 miles an hour. And then um, you can step dash, which is also neat and I never use. I use it on occasion, but it's only when I'm trying to actually do the, the boost dash Yeah, thing. if I ever do it, I do it by accident. Yeah. Um, you can lock on with middle click, so that's cool. Um, once you're locked on, you have to hit tab in order to toggle between targets. Oh, that's what that one means? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. See, I that one I I thought it was supposed to be like these buttons over here. See, I didn't figure that one out at first either, and I'm like getting into fights, going like I can only toggle the one guy, and then when I do again, it just unlocks onto him. What's the deal? Um, then your punches. You got a weak attack on your left click, strong attack on your right click. Um, Q is for a key blast. E so, and Q throws, which I almost never do. So are you telling me your button to shoot lasers is Q Q Q? Yes. Awesome. And then um, right click and Q to do a knockback attack, which is also something that I've never done. So that's cool. Yeah. Come at me anytime. Got it. I use this that. This is for burning my house down. Are you gonna reimburse me on my house? Also, I have abilities. They haven't taught me how to use them yet, and he's just gonna stand there like a bum. So I'm gonna use them. Uh, hi. That's your best Vegeta impression ever. <laughs> okay, enemies can guard. If you hold down right click, you can do a charge attack, which will break their guard. Honestly, I've never found much use for that, because by the time I charge that up, they've stopped guarding and just punched me. So... There will be some use of that later. Yeah, it's very, it seems like very little, but you will generally find out not why much. later, but... Um, some charge attacks can only be done during combos. That's actually what I do far more often. Yeah. Because you can actually mix up light and strong hits in a combo. And the one that I use far more often than any else is starting with light hits and ending with a strong hit. Which is that little spin in the air and I knock into him. Mm. Which is a hard hit and breaks guard, I think. So that's cool. Um, while performing combo space to vanish circle around to the enemy. Neat! 
not terribly useful, I guess, until they're guarding or something, and you can hit them in the back and it breaks their guard. I don't know. Mm. Better use later on. Okay, he's probably gonna guard now. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. start guarding. Oh, he did it. He did the thing. He's a master of this whip. There we go, gotta break his guard. Uh, which one is it? This one? Oh, it didn't hit him. So, didn't quite break his guard. Okay, and then they teach you how to guard yourself. Um, E-guards. I'm really bad at guarding. Um, I've always felt like when you're getting pummeled in a full combo, I should be able to start blocking partway through. I, uh, yeah. But then, like, that'd be a real jerk move if enemies could do that, too, because, like, I'm wailing on you. Stop that. <laughs> um, but, um, while you're guarding, it drains your stamina gauge. You can, they can break your guard if they hit you enough. So, that's great, and then you gotta get stamina back. You can do a just guard by hitting block at just the right time. So that's cool. And then while they're beating you, this is the cool thing. Um, while they're hitting you, you can hit space to do the vanish circle thing around behind them while you're getting pummeled. It takes more stamina, but it's a way to get out of getting well, pounded. Well, it takes two stamina bars, but one if you're guarding, so... Yeah. And I really, I use the crap out of that because I, it, I don't think there are people out there who don't use the crap out of that. Ah, uh, hi! Oh, and then they teach you how to use special skills. There are two different kinds. There is the super attacks and then the ultimates. Which is accessed by hitting control and then alt. Which brings up the different menu. So you hit control and you see the menu, hit another button to use that ability. So that's cool. You also get an evasive ability by hitting, hitting like, alt space. I never use it. I'm really bad about that. I like my stamina. I'm gonna use it to, like, vanish behind him when they're punching me. Looks like the little warm-up is complete. Now, and of course they interrupt me in the middle of that, so now, like, I'm getting punched because I couldn't get jump back into it very quickly. Well, time to punch you back in. Almost. Uh, Later, Trunks. Uh, Later, Trunks. Falls right down in front of you. And now we've defeated this very rude person who teleported us from another world, and we can finally go home and get back to that pot that's probably boiling over. And we leveled up. Yay! You were chosen. Chosen by Shinron. Sorry for attacking you, by the way. I'll introduce myself. I'm Trunks, and I'm currently on a mission. Trunks. That's a girl's name. I always thought... I think one of the best things to show how dorky Dragon Ball Z is, is Future Trunks. Because Future Trunks is a massive dork. Yes, he is. Just the idea of, like, th throwing that sword up in the air and then catching it in the sheath, but, like, it'd be kind of cool if he could just stand there and it would go in. But no... He has to turn his torso at an angle for it to go in, which is the dumbest looking thing ever, but he does it anyway. He is a huge dork. He's also one of my favorite guys in this game. In comparison to Young Trunks, who I hate with a with a burning passion. We'll get to them, we'll get to them. Just give it some As time. You can see, this place, it's not the world you're familiar with. Obviously. <laughs> you don't know what I'm used to. <laughs> I got one of these in my backyard. What are you talking about? I, that dragon's my pet, actually. This is the Toki Toki world, where the flow of time gathers. You know, one time I ate a fruit called the Toki Toki fruit. It didn't sit well with me. <laughs> I can't swim anymore. <laughs> I had a time on the toilet, that was for certain. You can call us the Time Patrol. What is when this, one million AD? Off course, a false timeline is created. We work to correct any of these changes to history. So this is a common enough occurrence that you had to make a foundation for? <laughs> Apparently. As Time Patrol members, we'll fight all throughout time. Sometimes, we deal with legendary fighters or dangerous forces. Or Anime Hulk, but he's later. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. It's like I've been pra- like I've been practicing that one. Do you think it was okay? <laughs> well, he's got to like sell it on you somehow. Here? See how effective it is. Oh right, I should probably explain a few things first. I'm gonna punch you in the schnoz. <laughs> Deck you in the schnoz. Look around. In this space, there are many other time patrol members. Oh, I thought I was special. If you'd Dang like, it! Go ahead and talk to them. I'll hear your answer after you've had the chance. I mean, I was summoned by a dragon. 